Alyssa, I am so sorry about this, honey. We'll have to go see the movie another day. Me and your father have to go to a funeral on short notice. Huh? Did someone die? Yes, mine and your father's old boss at the company we met at. I don't think we'll be gone for too long, but we won't make the movie unfortunately, darling. We should be back by tonight, okay? Okay. Don't worry, Mom. We can see the movie some other time. Leave the house to me. See you later. <laughs> Mom, please help me. What do I do? Where are you? We're still at the funeral. What's wrong, honey? Shall I call you? No, please, don't call no matter what. Huh? Why not? There's someone in the house. Please help me, Mom. I'm so scared. What? I've been in my bedroom the whole time. I heard the sound of someone opening the door and coming in. I just assumed it was you and Dad getting home, so I went downstairs to see you. But when I did, there was some stranger in the living room. I've never seen that before. Oh my god, are you serious? Where are you right now? I'm hiding in the closet upstairs. I froze and slowly went back upstairs as soon as I saw them, so I don't think they know I'm here. I'm so scared. Please, Mom, I don't know what to do. Listen, Alyssa, I understand you're scared, but I need you to think very carefully for me now. Are you 100% sure you don't recognize this person? It wasn't your grandmother or any of our other relatives, was it? No! It's some strange woman I've never seen before. She's much younger than Grandma. I see. Absolutely do not move from where you are under any circumstances. Do you understand me, Alyssa? You're being a very brave girl and I am so proud of you. We're coming home immediately. I'm calling the police too. Please try to stay calm, honey. This will all be over soon. Oh my god, it sounds like they're in the next room. I can hear shuffling and banging from what sounds like stuff falling over. We're in the car. We're on our way home right now. Sit tight, Alyssa. Phoebe, where are you right now? Hey, sis, it's been a while. I almost didn't realize who you were for a sec there. I'm at home like usual. Why? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Will you tell your husband I'm really sorry I couldn't make it today? I was having the worst lady pains, so I just chilled on the sofa in my PJs with a hot chocolate. Get over here at once and give back the things you stole. WTF? The things I stole? Have you lost your mind? You crept into our house while me and my husband were out at a funeral, turned the place upside down, and stole a bunch of our stuff, didn't you? What are you talking about? Did you stop taking some medication or something? I take it someone burgled you? This is why humans invented locks, you dummy. You should be more careful from now on. It's a well-known fact that thieves tend to burgle the same place several times after all. The doors were locked just like they always are. Whoever it was let themselves in with a key. I called mom. She told me you showed your face at her house briefly this morning, then went home immediately. She said the spare key to our place she had hanging up by the front door was missing. No way, she probably just imagined it. What kind of fantasy world are you living in? If you've really been burgled, you need to get real and start thinking straight. This isn't some detective novel. $2,000 in cash money, all of our brand clothing, and all the gift cards we used to shop for Christmases and birthdays. Everything gone. Even Alyssa's piggy bank got stolen. How could you do that to a little girl? Jeez, sis, would you cut it out already? Like I already told you, it wasn't me. Where's the proof? Wait, you wouldn't seriously throw such stupid accusations at me without any proof, would you? What's that? Alyssa was home when it happened. So what? She was quick thinking enough to get a photo of the intruder after they darted for the back door and hightailed it down the street when they got spooked by the police sirens. She just sent me it. Nothing you could possibly say could convince me this isn't you. You can't even see their face from the movement blur. Are you being serious right now? Like, what the hell? 
Is that all you're basing these horrible accusations on? Oh my god, Brooke. You still have the nerve to play dumb after blatantly being caught red-handed? You barely hung around for five minutes at Mom's place this morning before pulling a mysterious vanishing act. Why? Besides, I confirmed it with Alyssa. I showed her a picture of you from mine and my husband's wedding. She recognized you the moment she saw it. You might not have realized while well, you were so preoccupied with rooting through our stuff, but let me make this clear. She got a very good look at your face. You think the word of some dumb little girl counts as proof? You're gonna make hurtful accusations against your little sister based on that? I'm bored of you now. It's time to put your phone down and take some big, deep breaths. You know full well there's a chance Alyssa got it wrong. Excuse me, dumb little girl? She's your niece. How dare you? Do you have any idea how terrified she was because of what you did? She was holed up in a closet begging me to help her. Maybe so, but it had nothing to do with me. It's all your fault. How did you come to that conclusion? Think about it. Doesn't exactly take a genius. You walk around town like you're some kind of local celebrity in a desperate attempt to show off the branded clothing and bags you skimp and save for for some reason despite being dirt poor. It would hardly be a surprise if some local ruffians set their sights on you after seeing all the stuff you had. I hate to say this, but you are practically begging to be burgled. This is what happens when ugly gutter people go around acting like they're hot stuff, lol. Whether I buy brand goods or not is my prerogative. Why are you so obsessed with that of all things? Don't get carried away just because you managed to beg yourself a husband by some miracle. Owen always did have some weird tastes. But my jaw almost hit the floor when I realized a normal guy like him was marrying an ugly, 50 IQ, good-for-nothing, poverty-stricken loser like you. All the while having no idea that he wasn't even your first choice, and you only settled for him after accepting you had absolutely no chance with my husband. Wait, what? Are you saying I had feelings for your husband, Chris? What on earth would lead you to think that? There's no point in playing dumb, sis, so please save me the trouble of having to listen to your crap. You had a thing for my Chris back when you and him and Owen worked at the same company, didn't you? What? I never told you this, but remember that blind dating event our companies held together? You were witnessed together by several people that night. Yep, that's right. You were seen sneaking out the back with Chris. I bet you thought no one saw you. Huh? What the? You can pretend you forgot all you like, but this isn't gonna wash with me, lol. Could it be that you're still not over the heartbreak of having him snatched away from you? Look, Phoebe, I'm not even sure I know what you're talking about anymore. You're an even bigger dimwit than I thought then. Do I have to spell it out? I stole your man, and now he's all mine. I wonder what it felt like having the guy you like stolen away by your much cuter little sister right before your eyes. Do you want to share, or is it still too tender? <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that why you asked Chris out? Bingo. Looks like there might be a brain cell in there after all. Try seeing it from my point of view. It would have been a travesty to let a good-looking guy like him go to waste on a good-for-nothing butterface like you. To tell you the truth, it's always been a weakness of mine. Ever since we were young, whenever you had something nice, I always felt this overwhelming urge to snatch it from you. I find the thought of you having any kind of happiness just unbearable. Kind of like a way of putting you back in your place when you get too big for your boots. It's hardly fair that someone so vastly inferior to me in every way should have anything nice, is it? You're the most wicked, black-hearted person I've ever met. I think you might actually be evil. I feel disgusted just knowing that we're related. Anyway, I was super shocked when I heard Owen propose to you straight after that little incident at the party. 
He probably felt bad and took pity on you for still being unmarried when you were almost 30 and well past your prime. I'll give him one thing. It takes a kind man to do that. I have no interest in continuing this conversation with you. I feel sick just looking at your vile messages. Hurry up and return the cash and items you stole from our house. Alyssa planned on buying a brand new bag with the money she was saving up in that piggy bank. If you're so convinced it was me, you're free to come over to my place and look around. I didn't do it, of course, so it's not like you're gonna find anything. Boy, are you gonna feel stupid. And wow, really? You are actually making your daughter save up for some poxy little bag? A good mother would just buy her it. You'd have the money in the blink of an eye if you sold some of your precious branded clothing. I doubt you could ever bring yourself to part ways with it, though. Those are things Owen bought me as presents. There's no way I could sell them. <laughs> it just gets better. I get it. They must be super important to you if you had to pester your husband for cash to get your hands on them. Stop it, Brooke. My stomach hurts, lol. I've got to say, though. I feel awful for your little Alyssa to think you won't even buy her a bag. How about you use this whole thing as an opportunity to reevaluate the way you live your life? You are the lowest of the low, human garbage. And the lowest of the low have a duty to live inconspicuously, to keep their heads down and not be a nuisance to decent members of society by splashing out frivolously on things they can't afford. Phoebe, where are you? In my house, obviously. I need to talk to you about something. What is it this time? Snooze, lol. We were burgled again. We went out for some supper as a family. We weren't even gone that long. The place was an even bigger mess than the last time when we got back. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me, lol. Do you not learn from your mistakes? How many times does it have to happen before you start locking the door? I think my previous estimation of your IQ being 50 was way too high. You're the literal definition of idiocy. I can't stop laughing. I can't stop laughing either. Huh? I must admit, I had no idea you'd be stupid enough to try it again so soon. I'm so pleased we took the necessary precautions just in case you did. What are you talking about? I'm obviously talking about you burglaring our house. We thought it best to err on the side of caution, so we had a certain someone watch the house for us while we were out. That certain someone was Chris. What? My Chris? He agreed to come over as soon as I asked him. He thought it would be the perfect opportunity to clear your name, so he was very forthcoming. But he told me he was out drinking with his friends today. I know, it was me who told him to tell you that. Because as far as I was concerned, you were the prime suspect. So we could hardly have you finding out your husband would be on security duty. You saw my post on social media about us all going out for supper as a family. That's why you thought the house would be empty, right? Chris just sent me some fascinating pictures. You'll never guess what of. Wanna know? His crazy wife rummaging through the drawers in our house. What? I did think you'd start being a little more cautious after Alyssa saw you up to no good last time. To think you didn't notice your husband hiding in the same closet, even after I told you that's where she was hiding the first time around. Do you not learn from your mistakes? You're such a moron, I can't stop laughing. My stomach hurts. Ugh, just shut up. Who the hell do you think you are dragging my family into your business? That's my line. Who the hell do you think you are dragging my family into your illegal activities? You should be ashamed. We have enough photos to make a scrapbook this time. You're not getting away with it again. Fine. Even if for the sake of argument we say it was me who burgled your house this time, what proof is there that I had anything to do with it the first time round? You don't have any, do you? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You're not seriously still trying to worm your way out of this, are you? 
You despicable common thief. Get a grip, sis. You're blowing this way out of proportion. This is nothing but a petty squabble between sisters. Excuse me? Let me make this clear before you go off and do something you regret. But the police don't get involved in petty family disputes. They don't deal with civil matters. I know you are not particularly knowledgeable about anything at all, and you're certainly not intelligent, so you can be forgiven for not knowing, but let me explain. If a parent or sibling steals something from within the family, the police aren't obligated to take action if it's reported because it's a civil matter. A formal criminal complaint is required to prosecute things like that. I'm afraid you are tragically deluded. Huh? I won't be filing a civil claim. I'll be filing a criminal lawsuit because you committed a crime. Chris has my back on this one too. Wait, what the hell? Are you serious? A criminal lawsuit and Chris is on your side? You're lying. He just messaged me. I just followed Phoebe. She went to her folks house. It seems like she's hiding everything she steals in her dad's safe. I got him to open it for me after she left. There it was. The money, the gift cards, the branded clothing, everything was in there. Alyssa's piggy bank too. My god, this woman is insane. Let's head down to the police station tomorrow and file the charges. We have no choice. Brooke, I'm so sorry for everything my wife has done. Those were the messages. Did he really send you all that? Surely I can't be liable for criminal charges over this. Apparently that's actually quite a common misconception. What was the penalty for theft again? Oh yeah, wasn't it up to 10 years in prison and a $5,000 fine? Don't quote me, but I'm sure it was something like that. That's gonna be real tough on you, huh? Oh well, good luck. No, I don't want to go to prison. Please, sis, don't do this. Will you stop my husband from filing charges against me? What? Why? Why? What do you mean, why? Do you seriously want people knowing there's a criminal in the family? Think of what it would do to our reputation. Can't be helped. We'll just have to take the hit. You are a criminal after all. It's out of my hands now. How is it out of your hands when all you have to do is get him to not file charges? You could do it right now if you wanted. Ah, I've got it. If you persuade my husband not to file charges, I'll let you have him for a day. Chris, that is. Huh? Come on, don't deny it. I know you've had the hots for him since forever. I'm not gonna lose my head over being cheated on for a day if that's what it takes to put a lid on all this. Go on, you know you want to. You want to know what it's like even just once. You'll finally get to find out how he got his nickname, The Sexual Athlete. Wow. What is this crap? How does your mind even work? First of all, your husband Chris is not a bargaining chip for you to rent out like some object whenever you're in a difficult situation. Listen, Phoebe, you're making a major misunderstanding here. So allow me to explain. A misunderstanding? The only reason I went out back with Chris on the night of the blind dating event was because he called me over and invited me to go out with him. What? No way! I never had feelings for him. In fact, he was the one who liked me, and he told me that night, right there in the garden behind the club. No way! What the- why? I have no idea why but he told me he'd had a crush on me for a very long time. I already liked Owen by then, so I turned him down. I didn't want to make things awkward between us at work, so I proposed we stayed friends, which he agreed to. Then we both went back inside, and that was it. Huh? Wait a sec. Does that mean I didn't steal the guy you had feelings for? Owen was the only one I ever had feelings for. Liar! You're just trying to show off and make me feel jealous, aren't you? Well, it won't work! Ugh! I don't believe you for a second! I don't care whether you believe me or not. You're welcome to ask Chris yourself. I'm sure he'll tell you. 
Are you saying my husband was a hand-me-down from you of all people? Ew. Why do you think like this, Phoebe? Why are you so shallow? You really should stop speaking about your husband like he's an inanimate object. I very much doubt he married you just because he couldn't have me. I'm sure he married you because he likes you, even if I personally struggle to believe that that's possible. Believe it or not, not everyone on this planet is quite as disgustingly shallow as you are. Shut up already! Anyway, more important, you have to stop him. He cannot be allowed to make it to the police station. Me, a criminal record? Don't even joke about things like that. Help me out here, sis. How stupid are you? If my IQ is 50, yours is one. You've treated me with such hate and contempt for so long that I literally struggle for the words to describe how toxic you are, and suddenly you want me to help you out? You can rot in prison for the rest of your life for all I care. Why? Don't joke about that, I'm not cut out for prison. Why can't we just let bygones be bygones? Bygones? You broke into my house two times in the last week. You terrified the living daylights out of my poor daughter. Besides, there's no way you'll be able to talk Chris out of this. Surely you don't know that. I, I have to at least try. He's kind, so I'll probably be able to pull on his heartstrings if I break down on the floor in tears and cry uncontrollably for a few minutes. Do you really not know despite being his wife? Chris is absolutely furious with you right now. Huh? What? Do you have any idea whose funeral we were at on the first day you broke in and stole from our house? Huh? Yeah, of course I do. It was your old boss from the company you guys all met at, right? That's right. We were a bunch of high school graduates who'd hardly been out of our parents' houses for five minutes, fresh-faced and wet behind the ears. We barely knew left from right. He taught us how to behave as young adults and drilled into us the skills required to become productive, successful members of society. He was a veteran cop before he started the company. Veteran cop? He was a very important man to us all, and we owe him a lot. To think you duck out on some trumped up excuse of a fake illness. We all were wondering why you couldn't make the effort to show up, and to be honest, we did think it was weird, but my god, we had no idea it was so you could break into our house and steal our things. Do you really think Chris is seriously gonna let that slide? Our old boss was extremely important to us all, but more so to Chris. He was like a second dad to him. Just give it up. I will not! I'm not going to prison! How about I just give you the money back? Surely we can call it quits then? You know, these are some really dirty tricks you're using. Sweet-talking my husband into taking your side. You need to do something about this. Help your sister for once, you damn good for nothing. You deserve everything that's coming. You don't care about anyone except yourself. You steal, you hurt your loved ones without a moment's hesitation, you say some of the most hateful, abusive things I've ever heard a person say. And you have the nerve to call me the lowest of the low? That does apply to one of us, but it's not me. Fine, whatever. I'm the lowest of the low, happy now? I'm seriously begging you, please just don't take me to court. Can you promise me something then? Can you promise to use this whole thing as an opportunity to reevaluate the way you live your life? Huh? You heard me, now repeat after me. I am the lowest of the low, human garbage. Accordingly, I hereby pledge to live inconspicuously, to keep my head down, and stop being a nuisance to decent members of society by stealing things I can't afford. I am the lowest of the low, human garbage. Accordingly, I hereby pledge to live inconspicuously, to keep my head down and stop being a nuisance to decent members of society by stealing things I can't afford. There, are you satisfied now? You won't take me to court now, will you? You promised you wouldn't. 
Don't kid yourself, of course I will. What? I was only joking. You love jokes, right, Phoebe? Remember when you joked about how it's a well-known fact that thieves tend to burgle the same place several times while we were still recovering from the shock of your first break-in? I won't let you get away with what you did, or your childish jokes. My sister made several attempts at stopping me and her husband filing charges against her, but she ultimately failed. What surprised me the most was that our parents didn't try and convince us to withdraw the accusations, and they were more than happy for me to take my little sister to court. It turns out this wasn't her first time stealing. Unbeknownst to me, she'd been a prolific thief for quite some time. My parents had never told me, but they were fully aware of it, and I can only assume they reached the end of their tether with their sticky-fingered daughter's misdeeds. Phoebe miraculously managed to avoid going to prison, but she didn't escape the criminal record, and now her name will be on file forever. On top of that, she got fired from her job. Finally, while she was in a desperate panic to scrape the money to pay off the fine together, Chris slammed a set of signed divorce papers down on the table in front of her. She's as good as ruined now. After the incident, we moved somewhere far away as a family. We all felt that there were too many bad memories for us in that place, so we decided to embark upon a fresh chapter in our lives together. We did end up pretty far from our workplaces and Alyssa's school. But now, the three of us are living in a quiet little apartment in a village by the sea, where we can hear the gentle sound of the waves, and we don't regret it one bit. This goes without saying, but it's also equipped with a big, sturdy safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel 